My name is Zach Eide, and I'm the Senior Construction Manager for American Transmission Company. As a former system control operator at ATC, I was able to see firsthand the impact of planned and forced outages, as well as congestion on the transmission system. Now more than ever, I feel that we need new transmission facilities, including lines and substations, in order to maintain reliability and operate a safe and reliable system. To ensure project success, ATC partners with our Alliance contractors. There are many safety implications for our crews to conduct this type of work. To ensure everyone goes home safely, ATC and our contractors adhere to the capacity model, which creates a work environment that focuses on preventing an incident from occurring, while also building in the capacity to fail safely when an incident does occur. Today on the Cardinal Hickory Creek project, we're installing conductor spacers. These spacers are put in place to maintain conductor spacing as well as to aid in vibration dampening between subconductors. Prior to crew members using a spacer cart, they go through an on-the-job training session in a controlled environment. Pre-flight inspections are always executed. Pre-flight inspections include examination of hardware, mechanical components, as well as welded joints. The spacer cart is a cart that is designed to ride on the conductors and is powered by a gas engine to move along the line. Spacer installation is typically a five-person crew. Three crew members are in the spacer carts, while two crew members remain on the ground watching, also shuffling buckets to the end pickup location. A good example of the capacity model at work is the way that the spacer carts ride on the conductor. Crew members are always tethered off to a large carabiner that trails behind them affixed to the conductor. While installing spacers, crews are kept safe by maintaining 100% tie-off at all times. Spacer cart work is just one part of transmission line construction, but in every phase, there are substantial safety protocols put in place to make sure our crews go home safely. 